On this video, I'm going to show you guys how to rebuild the dash valve, uh, the MV3. Uh, you uh, To rebuild the inside of the, the valve, this one, it's one and two. Uh, you need this kit right here. It's, this is the model number. Uh, it's the MV3 spare kit. It comes with uh, all the, the parts and uh, O-rings you need to reveal the inside. This is the part number. And it comes with the with the with all the seals and O-rings and uh, springs on the inside. Uh, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver, a lighter, and a pick tool, one of these. So you can take out the O-rings. So to take this apart, you need to take off these six screws uh, right here. And um, the manufacturer puts uh, the tie lock on the screws. So that way it's hard to open it. Uh, so what you want to do is get a lighter and and uh, heat the, the, the screws before you start unscrewing it. Because you can, you might damage the the thread. Uh, so you can start by lighting, putting the lighter right here, and that way the the lock the the Loctite will will let you unscrew it. See. That way it's easier to take them off. So right there, you remove this one, and what you gotta do is pull this one out. And this is what you need to rebuild. And it has a, a screen, a uh, spring inside. So that's one, and then this is the second one. And all the parts are in this bag right here. So all you need to do is um, make sure which one goes into where and start rebuilding it. So I'm gonna start with one and do the second one. So I'm gonna start by removing the O-rings. You have one right here, and another one right here, and two more inside, and one in, in this, this piece right here. So you take, I take them off like this, using this pick. And then this other two right here. And then you have one more right here. So I clean it before I put the new O-rings. I use a uh, Windex 
uh, on this video I'm going to be sh using Windex but uh, sometimes I use uh, brake, brake cleaner so you just spray some Windex and make sure everything is wiped out all the, the lubricant that it has inside So I'm going to start rebuilding it now. Uh, I clean all the parts. Uh, I'm going to start with this part right here. And this O-ring is for this one. So that one's finished. And this one, this is the order that they go. Uh, I'm going to start with this small one. It goes in here. So this is the second one. Uh, this one goes into this groove right here and it goes this way and that's the second one and then I'm gonna start with this side now and on this one right here this one the this one the bigger one goes into this one And that's one more and then this one right here and now the the on um, in the box uh, they give you this lubricant this uh, grease lubricant all you have to do is put some around the o-rings And this one goes into this one right here. And uh, I'm gonna re I'm gonna put the the O rings on the other part on this one. And then I'll show you how to put it back together. So here I have my two valves. They're all rebuilt. Um, I put grease already on both of them and now it's time to put them back in together uh, I cleaned the inside already the insides and uh, also you have to this this one right here it was like this uh, you also need to put a, a o-ring on this this part and it comes with this spring inside and and this one right here just two springs and this uh, little plastic so to do this part right here um, is the same thing it has one o-ring right here uh, you clean the this metal plate you clean this metal piece And clean the the cover. Take out the the O ring on the cover.
And on the kit, it comes with the, the O-ring. And this one right here. And again, you put some grease. And this is a new spring goes in here and this um, another spring goes in here and then the whole this whole thing goes into this middle place looks like that and then the, the cap. So this is the old one. This is the old one. So now to put the valves in, uh, you gotta put the the new springs. You just put them in here. And then this other one. And you can start now put in the, the valves in There's one, there's the other one, and just put the plate back in, make sure the, the valve in the middle is down, and then just drop the, the plate on top, and then you can start screwing the whole thing together. So that's how you rebuild the valve. Um, I bought this kit in the dealer. It cost me twenty dollars. The whole valve cost two hundred and fifty. So you can save some money right there. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's working now, and uh, you shouldn't have problems air leaks or it will eject when your when your air is is down. Whenever you're doing your inspection, uh, when, you, when you put the air down, uh, it should eject. And um, that's that's it.